One, two, four, five, and it's letter G. <laughs> People say things like, you know, why does he look like that? Why does he have red eyes? And I'll say things like, oh, that's just how Christian was born. Now give me a high five. Good job, man. Uh, my name is Lacey Buchanan. My family consists of me and my husband, Chris, um, and we have two boys, Christian, who is six, and Chandler, who is four. Christian is a very typical six-year-old little boy. He's learning to read. He likes to wrestle with his little brother and, um, you know, just all the things that any six-year-old would enjoy, um, you know, but he does have some um, special things about him. Um, Christian's um, condition is called Tessier cleft lip and palate. Um, he has classifications three, four, and five. Um, which includes microophthalmia. So his condition um, was caused by amniotic banding syndrome. So um, fibrous bands can form in the womb, and if they attach to the baby, they cut off blood flow. So Christian's banding happened to attach to his face, so it cut off um, blood flow. And so as his you know, face was knitting together, literally in the womb, it, um, blood flow stopped, so the, the knitting together just stopped. Christian, um, could not eat when he was born um, because he had large uh, just gaps in his face where the cleft was. His mouth just wouldn't close um, and so he got the feeding tube when he was four days old. Christian's condition is about one in 50 or 60 documented cases um, in medical history. No, I think When I first saw Christian, I was kind of shocked at how he looked, but it didn't stop us from loving him. What is this one? What is this? He's just a healthy, happy little boy. What is it? Can you tell us? Hey! Very good. Okay. The biggest way that Christian's condition affects his daily life is his vision impairment. So because he's completely blind, he, um, you know, he just has to learn to navigate um, the world, you know, in the dark. So um, it takes some uh, finagling and we have to do things a little differently sometimes, but um, you know, it's totally doable and possible and, and he's doing it really well. What is it? One, two, one, two, four, five, and it's letter Christian has had seven surgeries so far. Um, he's had three reconstructive surgeries um, on his face to help uh, close the gaps that the cleft left so that he's able to speak and eat properly. Then he'll look for, what do you find on the beach? Seashells! He's had several um, procedures to put ear tubes in. Christian's going to have a lot more surgeries in the future. Um, that's just the nature of this beast. Now press down on the first string and let's see what it does. Ready? There you go. I think we need some rosin. Yeah, I think we need some rosin too. Oh, very good. He's already improved just in his holding. We just got it Saturday. I was unaware of before Christian was born that there is this huge social stigma about being different, looking different. Most people didn't know how to handle um, somebody with that type of difference or how to be around them. Like the lady just a few weeks ago who blurted out, ew, um, he had no idea that it was directed at him. People coming up to us and going, oh, what's wrong with him? You know, and I just want to say, well, there's nothing wrong with him. Christian, do you, do you like it when your mom helps you do things or do you like to do things by yourself on your own? I like to do things on my, on my own. Oh my gosh, so, like playing with friends. I would definitely describe Christian as independent. Um, 
I remember a few years ago when he started saying, I want to do it all by myself, mommy. He's curious and he wants to explore the world and he's not afraid to do it. And I think that's a great thing. Are you ready to get started, Christian? Yes. Guess what? Yes. Okay, good. Go! Eat it! Nice. All right, man, good job. Christian's first karate lesson, he sat in the middle of the gym floor in my lap crying. Um, he was terrified and he didn't really understand exactly what it was anyway because I couldn't just show him videos of karate. Go! Whoa! Good job, Christian. All right, now don't sit down yet. What are you doing? We're not taking a break yet. Okay. I was really proud of him for getting outside of his comfort zone. Christian and I have been working together for almost two years. He has earned his gold stripe belt, and now we're currently working on his orange stripe belt. I'll correct him on it just like I would any child, um, but uh, I've seen a lot of changes in Christian over the past almost two years. His confidence is increasing, his abilities are increasing. Two! Yeah! All right, man, give yourself a hand. Oh, <laughs> did a pretty good job today, okay? How many tips do you have on your belt? Two. Now, how many do you have on there? Three. Three tips. Give me a hug. Three tips. Good job. Proud of you. I think sharing our story positively inspires others. I want to share my family's story um, to raise awareness for um, disabilities in general and specifically facial differences. I want to raise awareness of the value of people who have differences. I want to do away with that stigma that is attached, that is so negative. I feel like allowing him to sort of be, you know, out there, you know, I'm kind of saying to the world, I'm, I will not hide this child. Um, he deserves to be out in the world like anybody else. Um, he deserves for me to share his photos like a proud mom would. He is so independent now and so fearless um, and you know he's just he's not afraid of anything I feel like that has given him such a boost of confidence to know that I mean if I can do this I can you know I can do anything and I'm like yeah you go baby you can do anything